Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a book haul. I have three pretty large stacks here in front of me that I want to go through so I can get these books put away. Um, so we have special editions, we have stuff from the Target sale that just happened, all kinds of things. So let's get into it. So the first one we have is Hidden Waters by Katherine Cowles. This was a um, Books for a Cause book box special edition. I completely missed out on this box, but I found someone willing to trade for it, and I was so excited to have this. Um, so yes, excited to add this to my shelf. Then we have Sinful Vow by Asia Monique. I believe this was a um, Hello Lovely Trope of the Month book, I think. This cover is so pretty. Um, and I believe I looked this up when I got it, and it had like really good reviews. So it sounds good. I think it's, is it Mafia? Yes. So anyway, excited to try that one. Then we have Ashes of You by Katherine Cowles. I have, maybe I already hauled it. The, she sent me the like foiled version when it came out, but I um, also love the people versions. So I have both on my shelves. Then I grabbed a copy of Pretty Rings and Broken Things by Kat Singleton. When this came out, this is book two in her Black Ties series. I really loved this one. Same with One Night by Lena Hendricks. I grabbed a copy of, copy of this one when this came out. This is the last book in the Sullivan Family series. I need to buy the newest one that just came out that's in the King Family series. Then from Kristen Becker Ritchie from Eternal Embers, we have Wherever You Are and Whatever It Takes. I will be reselling these. I don't think I'm going to read these. I have read, I think, one book by Kristen Becker Ritchie, and it was okay. But um, if you were interested in buying this for me at cost, let me know. Because um, I yeah, don't need that. I think same thing with this. This is the Sarah Kate box, but I don't need the special editions. I have not read these before. I'm trying to be better about not keeping special editions I haven't read. I still have so many. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to be a little bit better. So Burn For Me and Wild Boys Duet. These both look very pretty. Um, and I do want to read more from Sarah Kate, but I just don't need so many special editions. So again, if you want those from me at the, like, at cost, like just what I paid for them plus shipping, let me know. Okay, and then Dark and Quirky. This one I haven't even taken out of the box. So we have Tell Me What You Want by Lucia Franco. I read this and didn't love it, so we'll be getting rid of that one. Take You Down by McKay. I don't even know what these are about. I'm, are they darker? I'm pretty sure they're darker. Let me know. Um, Beyond the Thistles by Samantha Young. I need to start this series. I... Love her Dare Family ser series. And then Under the Stars by Laura Pavlov. I love this book and love Laura. And this cover is so pretty. So super excited to have that one. Then we have The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I bought this one when it came out so that I could read it and have a physical copy of it. Only in Forever by Chloe Lee. I pre-ordered all of these like new editions from her like local store so that they would come signed and they came with artwork. I have the one that's supposed to match the old covers coming from the UK website. I believe it's going to say the publisher on it so it won't match completely but I did go ahead and order that from the UK site so I could have a matching copy to finish out my series. I hate that they are not offering that when it's literally the last book in the series. Okay, then I believe this is also, yeah, Eternal Embers. I have the Elizabeth O'Rourke series. Um, they only did two, but I believe they said they're going to finish the series because it didn't come with, like, the slip case that it usually comes with. So we have A Deal with the Devil and The Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. I've only read book one. I need to read the rest of the series and decide if I'm going to keep these or not. They are pretty. They're just very simple. I do like the inside, the end pages. Um, but, like, there's, they're just pretty simple, I feel like. I don't know. Um, so I need to decide what I want to do with those. Then we have Whispers of You by Katherine Cowles. This was the Novel Grounds, um, like, book club special edition. So pretty. Love it. Then the Morgan Elizabeth Eternal Embers. We have Tis the Season for Revenge, which I have loved and really enjoyed. So I just think this one's way prettier than, like, the... I don't know. This is just so simple to me. 
Um, and then we have Cruel Summer, which I need to read. And then they did complete the series, so I did go ahead and buy the next two, just because I love these covers so much. And I got a little bit of FOMO, so um, I did buy... I did buy the next two. Okay, then we have the Eternal Embers birthday book, I believe. Birthday box. So, Ashes of You by Catherine Cowles. Love it so much. Make You Mine by Laura Pavlov. It had two of my favorite authors in here, so I knew I had to buy this book, this box. The Wrong Mr. Right by Stephanie Archer. I haven't read Stephanie Archer yet, but I do really want to. And then I've never heard of this author. The Brightest Light of Sunshine by... Lucinia Coney. So, excited to have those. Okay, I believe we're down to just the Target order. This is going faster than I expected. I placed a large Target order, I'm not going to lie. Because it was, what, buy two, get one free or something like that? So, I... <laughs> I first bought the Clifton Forge series by Daphne Perry because that would be six books and then my next order was nine books. These are not in order but I did buy the whole Clifton Forge series. I love the series and I didn't own it so I thought that was a good time to buy it when there is a sale. Then my next order of nine is a little bit more random. Kind of. A lot of these were books on my Amazon wish list or books that I want to buy before Life Book Bonanza. Or something like that so I can get signed. So we have The Wolf and the Wildflower by Stacey Reed. I read this one last January and loved it and I just didn't own a physical copy of it yet so I went ahead and bought that. I'm a little annoyed it's not in like mass market paperback but some of Stacey Reed's I'm pretty sure indie books are like this size so it's fine it'll still match those. But I, I thought her entangled books were smaller. Anyway then we have Meet Your Match and Watch Your Mouth by Candy Steiner. I haven't read either of these yet, but I know that I want to. I do really enjoy Candy's books. Loving Romeo by Laura Pavlov. This book I enjoyed, didn't love, um, but I love Laura and I am going to collect all of her books. So Then we have Broken Dreams and Tempting Promises by Corinne Michaels. I hate that she's not doing the model covers and paperback of these because her model covers for the series are so good so much better than this honestly like so anyway I bought these two I already have the first one so now I have the next two I've been loving that series I'm doing pretty good on most of these books I hauled I've read like that doesn't usually happen that I feel like is impressive claim me forever by A.L. Jackson this is book three in her what is the series called time I, I want to say it's like the time river series I bought the hardback because the um it has like the people cover underneath and then the discreet cover on top. So excited to have that one. And then lastly, I bought A Temporary Memory by Marie Johnston. I have enjoyed, this is the Oil Night series. I've read the first two books and have enjoyed them. So I grabbed that one. And then An Unfinished Memory is book three. I haven't read this one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a, I thought it was Marriage in Trouble. This is Ex-Husband. So I guess it's a second chance marriage. Anyway, I still need to read this one. It came damaged. It was like in the box like this, but Target is sending me another one, thankfully. So, um, anyway, I'm excited to get to that one. So that is it. That is all the books I have hauled recently. I feel like I just talked a million miles an hour and got through those so fast, but, um, really excited to have these on my shelves, excited to take some of them to signings in the next few months and get them signed. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.